Today we're gonna to talk about corner progression, which is a method that I use for breaking up corners much in the same way that we break up other skills like barriers, dismounts, and remounts. So what we're trying to do with this is break up a corner into different sections, different steps with distinct purposes and distinct goals. The four steps of corner progression are breaking, controlled coast from the breaking point to the apex, controlled acceleration from the apex to the exit marker, and then sprinting away out of the corner. So the first step is to identify the apex. Now what is an apex? If you play a lot of like car racing games and stuff like that, you know what an apex is, they talk about all the time. Uh, an apex is the inside center of the corner. Uh, regardless of the corner shape or regardless of the corner type, the apex is always in the middle on the inside. So once you've identified the apex, we want to identify the last limiting course object in front of the apex. So we're identifying a point on the course that is gonna keep you from going straight through. So oftentimes this is a course marker, tape, sometimes it's a rock. If there was no corner and you were at the apex and you look left and you look right, what's the last thing you see that's keeping you from, from going there? I call this the breaking marker. Now we want to identify the exit marker. And it's the same thing. What's the course object after the apex that's keeping you from going straight through? And so now we have basically three, we have three points broken up. We have the breaking marker, we have the apex, and we have the exit marker. And that is the backbone of your corner. The line that you're gonna ride through these three points is a smooth arc that connects your entry, the breaking marker, the apex, the exit marker, and the exit line. So it's a smooth arc that connects those three spot, those three points and the entry and exit. So how do, you, how do you go through and do corner progression? As you're riding along the course, we'll picture a hairpin corner, a 180 degree corner. You ride in the corner on the outside of the corner and you're picking your brake marker and you're braking to the brake marker. So when you hit the brake marker, you wanna be going the speed you wanna go through the corner. And now you're following that smooth wide arc from the brake marker to the apex, getting about half of your turning in. And then once you hit the apex, you're gonna to start to apply smooth and controlled power to the pedals, stay seated, keep your weight back a little bit. Um, and ideally you wanna have a slight controlled slide as you apply this power. You can think of it as you're trying to apply as much power as possible without sliding out. So you apply the smooth controlled power through the apex to the exit point. Once you hit the exit point, you are home free, straight away, out of the saddle, sprinting. So that's a basic 180 degree corner. So now let's talk about something a little bit more complicated, and that's compound corners. What happens when you have more than one corner strung together? The best way to think of it is to look at the exit markers of one corner being the apex of another corner and stringing it together that way. Every corner has a braking marker, an apex, and an exit marker. And the other thing to remember is that oftentimes in compound corners, you're gonna be looking for early apexes and more braking and slower cornering on the earlier corners so that you can increase your exit speed. You wanna maximize your exit speed. Because on a bike, we're limited by how much power we can put down. We're not very limited by traction. Lastly, let's talk about some of the things that people get wrong, some of the common mistakes. A really common mistake is getting ahead of yourself. It's leaning into the corner too soon and not giving yourself that nice long wide arc on the beginning of the corner. And you wanna slow down, not just in speed, but you also wanna slow down your thinking. You don't wanna be thinking about sprinting out of the corner as you're going through and coasting the corner because that's gonna cause you to lean in early. All the way to the outside of the corner to start with and then swing the arc into the inside and give yourself all the room you can on the outside of the exit of the corner. So that sums up corner progression.